Hey there and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another short video from the Grove Studio. I wanted to show you today something that I can't believe I didn't see sooner. I don't know how I went all these years without ever realizing that this preset option was available, but I just had to show you guys. It is for formatting the file names when you export from Lightroom. So I'm gonna walk you through it. I chose a couple photos here to export. We're gonna go down to export. And here's our export dialog box. And we have here the default options that come up with Lightroom. Uh, whatever you've created for yourself is below there on the left column. And what I'm looking at today is this, the file naming format. And there are options that come default with Lightroom and they've served me well and I, I use them regularly. But this morning I came across a situation where I had revised just a handful of photos and I wanted to name them in a way that didn't really fit any of the existing format that they have. So I'm looking here trying to see which ones are a good fit and I see that there's the option to edit and how I never noticed this before, I have no idea. But if you haven't played with this, please do. When you click on edit, it opens this new window for you and you can create a new preset or template for how you name the files when you export. So basically up here in this white box is where you put how you want them named. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these items there. And these are the items that you can pick from. Now you can reference the image name and there are different options here. So say for example, I know I wanna use the file name first and then I click insert. Oops, I put it twice. Okay, there we go, just once. And then maybe we wanna do a dash. So we put in the dash and then maybe we wanna do some custom text. So we insert the custom text, maybe another dash and then maybe a sequence, but we're going to go with, maybe there's a lot of photos. And so we wanna have, we know we're gonna, we're gonna wanna have all three digits there. And then when you have your custom format set up how you want it, you go to this pull down and you select save current settings as new preset. If you click on that, you're gonna be asked to name your new preset. So I'm gonna name video sample format. And then you click on create and that's it. It's now part of that list. You click done. It's gonna take you to that format. And every time that you come to export, that custom format that you created is now part of the list that's available to you. So you've created a preset for the file name format that is custom to what you need. And this is just another one of those ways that you can create something that's gonna customize your workflow and allow you to do things a little bit quicker and just a little bit more fine-tuned to how you wanna do it. So that's it, my friend. I hope that's been really helpful. It was one of those little small tools that just blew my mind when I found it. And again, I don't know how I didn't see it, but when I did find it, I just had to share it with you. So I hope it's been really helpful. Uh, I hope it helps you in your workflow a little bit so that you can customize everything to your liking. And thanks for sticking around. If you liked this video and you like this channel, click like on the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.